rug up and push down into the armrest. So you're staying there and you push down in and it engages some of these lower muscles which help this one relax. So that's a, like a how to trick the nervous system in letting go. So you know how if you bend your elbow, what muscle do you use when you bend your elbow? Anybody know the name of this? Yeah, uh, no. Not, uh, bicep. It's not a name. <laughs> <laughs> your bicep. Biceps, yeah. yeah. Anybody know, know what? Mu so that bends your elbow. Anybody know the name of the muscle that straightens your elbow back here? This one. Triceps. So in order to bend your elbow, which when you use your bicep to bend your elbow, it shortens, right? That's just how mechanically <coughs> muscles work. They move you by shortening, contracting, all that. This tricep has to lengthen in order to allow that elbow to bend because it attaches right here. If I was to grab this guy. <coughs> So it attaches here. Ella, can you hold this? <laughs> and then it also attaches on the other side of the shoulder. So I'm lengthening that muscle as I shorten the bicep, right? So if I'm here and I want to bend my elbow, my tricep has to lengthen. So that's a neurologically set up in our bodies. We don't have to think about doing it, it just does it. <clears throat> so, so we use that idea for the brain to go, hey, let go. That's why that one where if your shoulders are really tight, let's feed into your neck. If you just shrug them up and then push down, you know, like use your armrest, push down a little, use your, you're using your depressors so that these, um, Shruggers will relax. Okay, so that's a little bit about um, a little bit about what we're going on. One thing about the neck, you know, how you decided which side you turn to easier. So, anyone did did you notice if you turned your head right better than the left? Which way was better? Okay. <coughs> So when you realize, oh, well, my neck turns better to the right, that's awareness, right? Self-awareness. So here's the five <coughs> principles. It's important to be aware of where you are and what, what you're, um, so to be non-judgmental about it, <laughs> would be to go, hey, my head turns better to the right instead of going, you know, my darn head won't turn left and get down on yourself about it, right? So you don't want to judge about it, you just want to go, hey, this is where it is, and accept it. So when you accept where you are, so that, so you're telling yourself not only in your brain, but in through your joints to go, hey, this is okay, I'm yeah, going to just be here. When I'm in my chair and the window is on this side, so I tend to to sit more like this because I try to observe what's going on outside. So I have to readjust that it's, you know, not cramping. Yeah, that's true. Right. Right. To take the kink out. Because sometimes you don't realize that this muscle right here, see this big muscle that sticks out? Yeah. That is the kind of big, big player of the outer layer that turns your head to the opposite side. And this one turns yeah. your head that way. You don't really think about that, but it lengthens going this way. So you have to take this one and, or take this one that's been long, long and holding me for a while, you know, and you're going to shorten it up. Okay, so I'm going to do a little demo. Do you, I have a volunteer. Does anybody yep. have a sore? Shoulder, knee, or foot, or somebody want to come up and have a little trial treatment on you. I think you have a volunteer here, Julie. Huh? All right. What's your name again? Nora. Nora.
more. Okay, where, where do you want me to practice something? Knee, <laughs> elbow, hand, oh, shoulder, <laughs> head, neck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Try something on you to see what orthophonomy feels like. Okay. Is this okay? Yep. Knee or hip or well, it's ankle? An ankle that was just destroyed. Do you mind if I take your shoe off? No. So pretty simply, let's set this here. It's really super simple. And you 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 need to be able to tell me. <coughs> how you're feeling. So um, you're welcome to lay back. You want something under your knees? Is that pillow okay. high enough? I know it's not a long, long table. You need something under your knees or are you comfortable? Good. You need something more under your head? Okay. So um, one thing is going to be hard to get to do. Oh, ow. So he was in a motorcycle accident and yeah. crushed his ankle. So, so we got a this, pretty, we got a pretty well patched up. You know, a few how surgeries. long ago? Okay, 25 years ago. And I want you to notice how well you move your ankle up. And down. And that's the motion you got. Right. Up and down. And then notice how you move it out and in. Okay. Yeah, it gets pinchy, like pinch. And then, um, how about your toes? Can you curl your toes? And lift your toes. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, so which way would you say your ankle moves better? Up? This ankle? Yeah, up or down. And you don't have to, um, the thing about orthobotomy is you can work right through the clothes. You don't have to yeah. take all your clothes off and, you know, like regular massage. You know, you get on the skin and you. This, could you pull that down? Yeah. <laughs> The scar is Oh, yeah. Cut it open so that you get better access oh, to the boy. bones. A long scar. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you're going to tell me, does it feel better up? No. Or down? Better down. Okay. So go ahead and relax back. You can sit up if you're comfortable. I just don't want you to hurt your back sitting like that. Oh, it's, 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 it's pretty good. It's and if you want to sit on the edge of the table, I can do it with you on the edge of the table if that's better. Pardon me. What are you phrasing? Okay. So we're going to go in the position of ease. He says pointing his toe is more comfortable than lifting his ankle up. And it's a little crunchy as you go up too. So we're going to we're going to you just relax. Just relax. So I'm going to hold him in a position down, and then I'm going to either compress or distract the joint. So there's a lot of joints in here, but I'm just going really super general right now, okay? So I'm going to pull out a little bit, and you're going to tell me, is it better out or in? So it's real... It, 
feels like things loosen up to me when I pull out a little bit. So I'm just pull, giving this foot a little tug. And I'm going to wait um, until I feel like it doesn't want to be there anymore. And does this hurt? No. There is a pull. Back of the heel here. Yes. There's a strange growth that's been happening. But does it hurt for me to pull on your ankle no, like that? Right. Okay. But, but it, Oh yeah, like the callus. Okay. So I'm gonna um, work on his calcaneus. So I'm just turning it a little bit in and a little bit out, and it feels like it goes better in. And um, I'm gonna just hold it there a minute. Is this comfortable position? Yeah, that's fine. So the rule number one is a comfortable position, right? So no pain with this technique at all. Yeah. And then you're going to... Not in the least conditions. Right. And that's what I want. So when you're laying on the table or if you're sitting up, whatever is most comfortable for you, it's important that you're in a comfortable position. I don't have my foot back. If you look here... So basically that's where his tension is, right? So I'm just following um, to get the position of ease, you know, to get that knot out, to have the tissue soften. You have to go where it exaggerate the pattern, one of those principles up there. <laughs> and then um, you, can, you can move it around a little bit in neutral, add a little pull. Or a little push, and then you tell me how that feels. Oh yeah. So do you notice any difference with your heel? So you, the, the only thing you need to tell me is, is this a position of comfort? Yes, that's fine. Okay. And if anything hurts when I'm doing this, you need to let me know. Nicely. <laughs> <laughs> joints in the foot. There's 26 bones. So the bones hitting up against you, though, that creates a joint. So this, it takes a little while to work through all the bones of the ankle and the foot. Um, <clears throat> but move your ankle up and move your ankle down. Move your toes up and down. Can you tell any difference in your toe? Just mm -hmm. do your big toe. My family has all in the same toes. The second toe is in a position like this. Oh, yeah, curls up. Yeah. You can exaggerate that and either <coughs> compress or pull. What feels better? Pull or push? Pull. Yes. pull.
Yeah, I grew up in Renton. Oh, okay. Anyway, you were there for the Coach in America last year. Yeah, I worked there for the first three years. What did you do there? Physical therapy. My mom was the first employee of the uh, spinal cord injury. The re uh, rehab department? Yeah. And they, uh, she and the, the doctor that was the lead on the program went to the Mayo Clinic and gave some uh, So um, go ahead and flex and extend your toes again. have any questions about the technique and how it's done? But you, you know, it's like I, I exercise my legs turning and throwing them you know, at night in the bed when I can sleep. Right? Yeah. You found a good spot there. Yeah, so you find a tender point and you cave it. That's kind of one of the really major principles of this. If you find a tender point, you can kind of cave around it, slack that whole area um, so it's not as tender. You feel how that slacked it? We wait for it to relax a little more on its own. Dry skin. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually the fabric on your shirt. Oh, huh? It just, just gives off. So it's softening under my fingers. Shedding. <laughs> you feel all that's a little softer in there? It's not as tender. Your nail is pressing more than your pad. I was just tears. So he has more motion in there. So I don't know if you notice a difference. Maybe the, the most, um, you know, a crushed ankle could take a little while <laughs> to settle out. Maybe a simpler joint to start with would have been better. But I might, um, I might have still some X-rays that would take. Oh, so that that there's a lot of tissue that can be damaged, and scar tissue works a little differently than regular tissue. And, might need a little. So sometimes in my work I do do some um, more tractioning type of work on scars, but you can also um, soften scars with caving using the orthobondy. Does anybody else, thank you for helping, and anybody else want to try, want me to try any area, anybody have a knee that's a little easier to see, come on up here then. Thank you for <laughs> Being my model.